Good morning and welcome to our online service. We are really glad that you're here. Thank you for uh, being a part of this, um, for watching this. Um, I hope you're doing well. Uh, even as the as the country is opening up um, seemingly fairly rapidly and if you if you are a member here um, you've been getting emails the last uh, few days where we're talking about our plans to, to reopen more um, we, we are going to fairly soon put uh, probably put most of the chairs back um, and uh, masks very soon are going to be optional. Um, so, uh, and that is uh, those that have been vaccinated, you know, there's really no need for you to wear them. We're, we're respectfully asking those who have not been vaccinated uh, to please continue wearing a mask. So uh, hopefully that's gonna work out okay. Um, just kind of letting you know uh, what's going on so you can make uh, the, the best decision as to when it's uh, appropriate for you to come back. Anyway, uh, wishing you all the best though uh, as you work through that. Now, today I am talking about praise. I'm not just really talking about it, but we're doing it. Um, and so I, I used several songs, but one I didn't get to use. And so I just, I just wanna read this and then I'll lead us in prayer. But Psalm 146 starts this way. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord my soul. I will praise the Lord all my life. I will sing praise to my God as long as I live. Isn't that a good thought? It, that is a great thought that I am going to spend all of my life praising God. And you know, I have known people that um, towards the end of their life, they um, had what we called at the time dementia. And it was uh, that one particular person I'm thinking of uh, it was really Alzheimer's, and we were really just beginning to understand Alzheimer's. But I remember that the one thing that did not leave him was praise of God. And when he kind of couldn't remember anything else in his life, he still remembered somehow to praise God. Isn't that a, and I know it's, it's not always that way, uh, but, but it was with this man. And I just remember thinking, wow, that, isn't that a good thing that that's the last thing you would lose? Uh, I hope that's true of all of us, that uh, we are able to praise God all of our life as long as we live. That will always be a part of our life. Let me lead us in a prayer. Father, thank you for today. Thank you for being the way you are, being so kind to us, being so generous to us. And Father, I do pray, it is our, our, our request, that we would have the ability and the freedom to, to praise you as long as we live, and that our last breath on this earth would be a breath of praise. We love you, Father. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. There's a stirring deep within me, could it be my time has come? When I see my gracious Savior face to face when all is done, is that His voice I am hearing? Come away, my precious one, is He calling me? Is He calling At his voice I am hearing, come away, my precious one, is he calling me?
stay between us How high the mountain I could not climb In desperation I turned to heaven And spoke your name into the night Then through the darkness Your loving kindness Tore through the shadows of my soul The work is finished The end is written Jesus Christ, my living hope Who could imagine so great a mercy What heart could fathom such boundless grace The God of ages stepped down from glory To wear my sin and bear my shame The cross has spoken I am forgiven The King of kings calls me his own Beautiful Savior I'm yours forever Jesus Christ My living hope set me free hallelujah death has lost its grip on me you have broken every chain there's salvation in your name jesus christ my living hope hallelujah praise the one who set me free Hallelujah, death has lost its grip on me You have broken every chain There's salvation in your name Jesus Christ, my living hope Then came the morning that sealed the promise your buried body began to breathe Out of the silence The roaring lion Declared the grave has no claim on me Then came the morning That sealed the promise Your buried body Began to breathe Out of the silence The roaring lion Declared the grave Has no claim on me Jesus yours Is the victory set me free hallelujah death has lost its grip on me you have broken every chain there's salvation in your name jesus christ my living hope hallelujah praise the one who set me free Hallelujah, death has lost its grip on me You have broken every chain There's salvation in your name Jesus Christ, my living hope Jesus Christ, my living hope Oh God, you are my living Let the weak say I am strong Let the 
poor say I am rich, let the blind say I can see, it's what the Lord has done in me. Let the weak say I am strong, let the poor say I am rich, let the blind say I can see. It's what the Lord has done in me. Hosanna, Hosanna to the Lamb that was slain. Hosanna, Hosanna, Jesus died and rose again. Hosanna, Hosanna to the Hosanna, Hosanna, Jesus died and rose again. Into the river I will wade, there my sins are washed away. From the heavens mercy streams of the Savior's love for me. I will rise from waters deep into the saving arms of God. I will sing salvation songs. Jesus Christ has set me free. Hosanna, Hosanna to the Lamb that was slain. Hosanna. Hosanna, Jesus died and rose again. Hosanna, Hosanna to the Lamb that was slain. Hosanna, Hosanna, Jesus died and rose again. Last year taught us a lot of lessons. We learned a lot last year. And, um, you know, we even started using words that, um, that we don't normally use. I mean, the word pandemic, I mean, that's just a common word now. Do you, do you know how many times we've used the word unprecedented? <laughs> I, you, I don't know about you, but, but I got tired of hearing that word. It's unprecedented times. Um, yeah, I got kind of tired of it. Um, social distancing. If, if you had had a party, a birthday party two years ago, and somebody said to you when they, when they got invited, you know, well, are we going to social distance? Would you have known what, you, what they're talking about? I wouldn't have. What is social distancing? Whereas now social distancing is a common word. You know, um, when this all got started, I'm telling you, churches had to scramble, including us. We had to scramble to have an online service, and I tell you, I, would, I, I wouldn't want to go back and look at the services we had the first two or three weeks. Um, it would be embarrassing now to look at those. But you know, churches uh, kind of learned from each other, uh, in a sense copied each other. Uh, I remember, you know, we saw some of the things that Michael Jones was doing at his church. I also saw what my brother-in-law was doing in San Antonio, and all of this kind of helped. And, uh, you, you know, um, I even remember Tim in Charlottesville uh, using some of their guidance, and uh, it's all been really helpful. And I feel like we've come a long ways. And so, you know, the thing that has come a long way is sort of, you know, the preaching and the teaching, that kind of thing um, is fairly similar and it hasn't really taken a hit. You know what's taken a hit? Praise. Um, it's just, it's just not the same when, when you, when you, <clears throat> when you sit there in your living room and you're in, in kind of listening to somebody else praise God. Um, it's just not the same as us being together and putting our voices together to sing and, and to give our praise to God. You know, um, several of us 
were listening to a psalm for a week and um, my takeaway, what I felt like God was saying to me was, Alan, you really need to praise me. Um, you need the praise. It's not good for you, for you to not spend time praising me. And, and I realized it, how true it was. And so even during part of my, um, my prayer time in the morning, I spent some time singing. And, and I felt like it was very refreshing to my soul. So today, what I want to talk about is praising the Lord, praising God, because I have become so convinced that it is actually one of our foundational needs as a people, particularly as a people of God, that we truly do need this. So I'm going to look at a few Psalms, just, just a very few. It's going to be representative. Uh, certainly, I'm not trying to cover the gamut. I'm also not trying to do a deep, in-depth study of praise. More than that, what I'm trying to do is I want us to actually praise. So even as I'm preaching this sermon, it is an act of praise. I am preaching as an act of praise. So maybe this is a little bit different than usual. But let's, let's, let's begin with Psalm 103. Um, in, in all of these cases, I'm not going to read the whole psalm. I'm going to read parts of it. Um, but Psalm 103 starts like this. Praise the Lord, my soul. All my inmost being praise his holy name. Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion. What I, what I want to take away from this just as we begin here is that very first sentence, praise the Lord, my soul, all my inmost being, praise his holy name. It, what I believe, and I believe this psalmist is saying the same thing, is that praise comes from a deep place within us. That's why we need to express it. That's why God says to us, you, you, it, it's good for you when you, when you do that. It, is, it comes from the part of me that will be there when God gives me eternal life. God is going to give me eternal life, and that will be my soul. And, and this psalmist says, praise the Lord, my soul. Use that part of you, that part of you that is eternal. And it, it, he uses the word, my inmost being. Um, what I really believe that praise does is it combines my head and my heart and something mysterious all of these things kind of combine and that's where praise comes from it is uh, it's an awesome thing and it, and it needs to happen and so you know um, in song when we praise God in song you know sometimes it's the music that, that grabs us and you can be the, the music of the song just the the notes is is what I'm saying and, and as we sing these notes and we typically sing them in soprano alto tenor and bass and when those voices combine the music can affect you and can kind of dig down deep in there you know what I'm talking about when it's digging down inside of you Sometimes it's the words. Sometimes the words really grab you and they can they too can dig down deep, deep into that mysterious place where praise comes from. And so let me let me say this again. Praise the Lord my soul. All my inmost being praise his holy name. You know, I have uh We've done this before, but I've never really done it by myself. So I, I want you to do this with me. I want us to sing together. And I, and I know um, if you don't sing with me, I'm just going to sing a solo. But it's such a simple song, but it is a song of praise. And, and I love the music of it, and I love the words of it. So 
So sing along with me, would you? Father, I adore you, and I lay my life before you. How I love you, Jesus, I adore you, and I lay my life before you. How I love you, Spirit, I adore you, lay my life before you, how I love you. I hope you sang along with me. Um, that's such a simple song, but I love it. And whenever I find myself in a place where I'm needing to praise God, particularly if I'm driving down the road and I, and I just feel this need, I really need to praise God, that, that's one of the main songs I sing. It just kind of comes out of me. Uh, Father, I, I adore you. I don't know that that's a word we often use in our relationship to God, but it's a word we should use. And it's a word that is very, very appropriate for our relationship with God. So that, that gets us started. So let's, let's also look at Psalm 66. Um, this is another song, psalm that a, a group of, uh, of us uh, listened to for a week, uh, asking God, you know, what are you, what are you trying to say to us? So um, it starts this way, shout for joy to God, all the earth. Sing the glory of his name, make his praise glorious. Say to God, how awesome are your deeds. So great is your power that your enemies cringe before you. All the earth bows down to you. They sing praise to you. They sing the praises of your name. Come and see what God has done, his awesome deeds for mankind. Come and hear all you who fear God. Let me tell you what he has done for me. I cried out to him with my mouth. His praise was on my tongue. What I, what I want to, to talk about there is that, that last part that I read. And there I, I kind of spliced two things together, but uh, I, I'm not worried about that. Um, they, are, they are all from Psalm 66. And I just, I just would ask, when is the last time you praised God to someone? Where you, where you said to someone what it is that you like about God, what it is that you are in awe of, what, what, what do you adore about God? You, you know, we sang earlier that you adore God. What, what, what do you adore? What, what are the best qualities of God that mean the most to you, that really jump out at you and, and, and have a place in your life? You know, um, just this week, I was was talking to two different people about gardening. We're, you know, if you're, if you're a gardener, you're putting in your garden right now. And, and so I was uh, really kind of finishing up what I was putting in uh, my garden this week. I, I put in okra. I got to kind of wait until the ground was nice and hot, which is what okra likes. So it ought to be happy this week. Um, so I planted that. Um, now, 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 one person I talked to was a Christian. So I could, I could praise God in a certain way. And, and um, the other person I talked to is not a Christian. And so I actually, with the non-Christian, thought, how could I praise God? In, I want to praise God, but I want to do it in a way that they will be able to hear. Because it's not just for me to say it, but I want them to hear it. And um, I wanted to reflect well upon God because so I was able to talk about gardening and the the how God makes things grow and and obviously it was it was very different with the two people that I was talking to, but you know what I really want to talk to people about is the bounty of this cursed earth that God cursed the ground. But look at the bounty. And we can, you can step out to the garden. It's just over here. And you can, sometimes you can look at that dirt and you think, that's not going to grow anything. But it does. It grows all kinds of things. It's amazing. It really, it truly is. Um, 
What do you have to talk about? What is it in your life that, that you would want to say something to, to somebody about God, that somehow that it reflects on God to you and for you to share that with them. And I would encourage you, find ways to praise God to non-Christians, people that don't know God and people that, that need to hear about his goodness and his love and his kindness. That's why this writer says, come and see what God has done. His awesome deeds for mankind. Come and hear all you who fear God. Let me tell you what he has done for me. I cried out to him with my mouth. His praise was on my tongue. May that be true of you. And may that be true of me as we go through life. The, um, last year, or in the last year or two, I have been... I was introduced to a form of praise that was new to me. Um, it is called Akathist Prayer of Thanksgiving. Akathist. You can you can look that up on YouTube, and there's there's lots of examples. Um, now I, I I want I want to tell you what I, what I would like to do here is I don't really want to talk about Akathist. I want us to experience it together. So I am going to take it. it, it the, the section that I have chosen for us today is about four minutes long. So I'm going to take a, a, a short break and we are going to listen to Akathist praise uh, for about four minutes together. Now, let me, let me, there's a little bit of rules to this, okay? The word Akathist means not sitting. So when you listen to an Akathis prayer, you're supposed to be standing, okay? Um, uh, so let me encourage you to stand during this time. Even, I, I realize you're at home. I, I, I realize you know, nobody else might be there, but do it anyway, okay? Stand and listen to four minutes of praise to God, okay? This is different probably than anything you've done before, but I just would encourage you be open to it, okay? So uh, let's uh, let's listen to this. O oh God, be merciful to me, this sinner. O oh God, be merciful to me, this sinner. O oh God, be merciful to me, this sinner. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Glory to you, our God. Glory to you. O heavenly King, Consoler, Spirit of Truth, present in all places and filling all things, the treasury of blessings and the giver of life, come and dwell in us, cleanse us of all stain, and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and always, and forever and ever. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, forgive us our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, look upon us and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and always, and forever and ever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and always and forever and ever. Amen. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims the work of his hands. Day unto day conveys the message, and night unto night imparts the knowledge. No speech, no word, whose voice goes unheeded, their sound goes forth through all the earth, their message to the utmost bounds of the world. 
There he has placed a tent for the sun. It comes forth like a bridegroom coming from his tent, rejoices like a champion to run his course. At the end of the heavens is the rising of the sun. To its furthest end it runs its course. There is nothing concealed from its burning heat. The law of the Lord is perfect. It revives the soul. The decrees of the Lord are steadfast. They give wisdom to the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right. They gladden the heart. The command of the Lord is clear. It gives light to the eyes. The fear of the Lord is pure, abiding forever. The judgments of the Lord are true. They are all of them just. They are more to be desired than gold, than quantities of gold. And sweeter are they than honey, than honey flowing from the comb. So in them your servant finds instruction. Great reward is in their keeping. But who can detect their own errors? From hidden faults acquit me. From presumption restrain your servant. May it not rule me. Then I shall be blameless, clean from grave sin. May the spoken words of my mouth, the thoughts of my heart, win favor in your sight, O Lord my rock and my redeemer so uh so uh I, I hope i hope you did i hope you did well with that um you know sometimes it is good to stand in god's presence and listen it is a it is a good exercise you know the first time i ever did this uh i was at ron's cabin ron denny's cabin and, and i was just out on the deck and, and I stood there, and uh, I was there under the sky and the clouds. Uh, I was amongst the swaying trees. I was hearing the birds. You know, they were all busy doing what God had created them to do. Um, you know, they're not called to do what I am, but they do what God tells them to do. And it, that was a reminder for me as I sat there amongst this and watched ev all of creation doing what God asks. And then there stands me. And it's like, okay, God, you know, I, I want to be obedient to you like they are. And and I, I just, I would sit and listen for 25, sometimes 35, 40 minutes, uh, depending on how long it is. And um, yeah, I found it very refreshing. I hope that was refreshing to you. Let's look at Psalm 145, and this is this is the last song I, uh, Psalm I'm going to look at. But uh, it says this in Psalm 145: The Lord is good to all; He has compassion on all He has made. The eyes of all look to you. And you give them their food at the proper time. You open your hand and satisfy the desires of every living thing. Think of that open hand, the open hand of God, the hand that opens up and, 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 and the animals and, and, and the plants, the earth, all get what they need from God. And his open-handedness is his generosity and his bounty and his care for them. And, and obviously when a psalmist writes this and praises God for this, he is remembering that God does the same for you and I. That we have all experienced in our life the open hand of God. And so he praises God for that. We need to remind ourselves of God's generosity, of, of the plenty the provision, the bounty, the care. We need to be reminded of those things. Um, you know, Jesus said it like this. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, will he not much more clothe you, O you of little faith? That's, that's, Jesus is saying the same thing. He's talking about the bounty of God, the generosity, the provision, the plenty and the care that God shows. And we, and, and we should remind ourselves of that. We should remind ourselves how open-handed he is. It's so good for us to do that. Um, Jesus also said, my father's house has many rooms. And a little bit later, I'm preparing one for you. 
This is the, it's the same thought. It's the same thought about the bounty of God. The, we, we do not live in a, in, in a kingdom of scarcity mentality. We live in a, in a kingdom of abundance. That is the kingdom of God. It is a kingdom of abundance. And we should be looking for the abundance and looking for the bounty because it's beautiful and it's awesome and it's there. And God provides it for us. And, and what Jesus is, is reminding us, hey, my father's house has many rooms and I'm preparing one for you. And I'm going to prepare it nice. You'll like it. It'll be beautiful. It'll be good. It'll be beyond anything you can imagine. It will, it will, it will, it will take care of all your needs. Won't that be awesome? That's what he's trying to say. He's describing heaven. And, and he describes it in the, in the same language of bounty and the open-handed nature of God where he just opens his hand and we're, we're able to feed from that and, 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 and be fed from that. Praise God for that. This is, what I'm, this, is the, this is the praise of God. And this is what is so good for our soul. It's why he says, praise God from your soul, from your inmost being. Praise God. It's good for us. You know, let, let me conclude with this. Um, when we praise God, we do not suspend reality. We, do you know what I mean by suspend reality? Suspend reality is, is when you just sort of look and it's like, what? That doesn't make any sense. That's not true. You know, um, Laura tells the story of, of her, her niece. Uh, one time her niece decided she wanted glasses when she was, when she was little. And um, so, you know, her mom, Laura's sister, took her to the eye doctor. And, uh, and, and Laura's nephew was there as well. So Louise is, um, she's the one that wants glasses. And Colin is her brother, her younger brother. And Louise, uh, you know, because she wants glasses, you know, she, he shows her that eye chart that you know, and she's looking at it like, I don't know. I don't see anything. I, 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 you know, it's kind of like cat, uh, brown. <laughs> he's like, and, and her nephew is like, he, he's looking at the chart and he's looking at her and he's like, that's an E. Well, what? What are you talking about? And, and, and it's funny because this is so the other, other part of the story is like it, it wasn't only that, that she couldn't see, but it's almost like she couldn't talk. She was suspending reality so much that she's like, yeah, blah, blah, blah. And, and her brother just, thought, just could not get over, what are you doing? That's what I mean when we suspend reality. And, and sometimes you can see it around you. Don't you? Do you, you know what I'm talking about because there's some people that believe things and think things and you're like, where do you get that? That, that doesn't have any semblance of reality to it. Okay, I don't, I, don't wanna, I don't wanna waste our time on that. What I wanna say, what I'm trying to really say is that praise is reality and truth. God really is these things and more. And when we praise God, we step back into the real world and into the world of truth, solid, rock bottom truth, true reality. I love it. We don't have to suspend reality. And so when, when you when you let bubble up out of you what is in you, you can share that with God and, and, and share your love for his bounty and, and his love for his provision, his love for uh, the, the, the way he's taken our sins, the way he's given us life, the way he's promised us life. You, you can do all that. But, you, but you, um, I really believe that what I'm, what I'm trying to say here about the truth and the reality, this is why so often in Psalms, Right in with the praise, you also can sometimes hear doubt. You will hear people saying in this book of praise, when are you coming, God? I, I, where are you? I, th I thought you were going to save us. Um, I don't get it. I don't see it. And, you, and they can share this. 
And, and God, it seems like my enemies are, are defeating me. And, and I, I thought you, I thought I lived under your protection, but I don't see it. And that's, and that is still praise. You don't have to suspend reality. You actually step into it. There is no need to pretend with God. And so when I praise God, I don't feel like I have to make up stuff. I don't. What is it about God that I love the most? What is it about God that you love the most? Talk about that and, and explore through the Psalms and see what they thank God for. And, and, and when we come together here on, on a Sunday, what are the things we sing about? Those things are, are some of the things that we love the most about God. And it is so important that we get together and we and we sing that way because it, it's coming from our depth where we're saying, this is what I love about you, God. And it is so good for you and it is so good for me. May you praise God this week. Let me close with a word of prayer. Father, we love you. We adore you. We lay our lives before you. You are, the, you are the creator of heaven and earth. You are the creator of us. You are the sustainer of life. You are the holder of life. All truth and all reality, all life, all love is in you. And it all comes from you. Every good and perfect gift comes from you. And we acknowledge that with our voices, Father. We use our mouths to say that your bounty is beautiful. The abundance that you share with us is all we could ever possibly want. We look to you, Father, and we keep our eyes focused on you. We praise your name, Father. I pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus, you are all to me. Why did you die on Calvary, O Lamb of God? I failed to see how this could be part of the plan. They say that you're alive again, but I saw death and every sin reach out to claim. Their darkest wind, how could this be part of the plan? If I could only hold your hand and touch the scars where nails were driven, I would need to feel your side where holy flesh by spear was riven. was part of a heavenly plan. Holy presence, holy face, a vision filling time and space, your nearness makes my spirit race. Could this be part of the plan? I see the wounds that cause the cry from heaven, ocean, earth, and sky. When people watched their Savior die, could this be part of the plan? Reaching out to hold your hand and touch the scars where nails were driven coming near i feel your side where holy flesh by spear was riven now i believe jesus now i believe your cruel death was part of a heavenly
at the end of Matthew chapter 28, it's, it, we, we see this in verse 16. It says, Then the eleven disciples went to Galilee to the mountains where Jesus had told them to go. And when they saw him, they worshipped him. You know, I, today we're, we're talking, we're praising God. And it, it just seems so appropriate that at the Lord's Supper, as we commemorate the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, uh, the new covenant, the washing of his blood, it is so appropriate that we would praise Jesus at this time. That is absolutely a suitable thing to do during this time. And you know, a lot of times, you know, while we're partaking, there's kind of a, a, a time there where we kind of sit and think. Uh, it's often quiet. And um, it is, it's the right thing to do to sit and think about all the things that, that people would have thought of Jesus after the resurrection, the, the Christians. And I could just, just try to imagine what would you think because they would just be so overjoyed. But I think they would also be overcome with awe. I, don't you think it would just be bursting out of you? When, you know, particularly those that saw the crucifixion, that saw the, the in any of the trial and the, the beatings and him walking, you know, to the cross, carrying his cross, uh, falling down, struggling to get up, bleeding profusely, but, but somehow, you know, garnering the strength to keep going. And uh, to hang there on the cross, um, and and through all of that, to never ever lash out at somebody or um, seek relief for himself. They knew he was powerful. They knew he could do miracles, but he wasn't doing them. And um, he put all that aside. And so, what what do you think? Are the things that you would praise Jesus if you were if you were sitting let's just say you're in heaven and you're sitting there listening to him explain the cross what kind of things would you say like like I think I would say things like man geez that must have been really tough you must have been tough um, how did you get through that how did the pain not get to you how did you sort of stay focused because it, he did stay focused on the will of God. How? How did you do that? That's amazing. And, and all the things that you would say to Jesus, or you'd say, that's amazing. That's praise. And we praise him. So, so at this time, as we remember through the bread and the cup, let's spend time praising Jesus. So let me, let me lead us in a prayer as we get ready to partake of the bread. Father, we, we, we take this bite of bread, Father, to remember the body of Christ that was given on our behalf, that body that was able to withstand so much and to be so tough and yet to be so loving and kind in those hands that, were, that, were, that would reach out and touch people in, in a loving and compassionate way we worship Jesus and just are in awe of what he was able to do as we remember this today. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. I also uh, want to lead a prayer as we partake of the cup. But when you, when you think about the blood of Jesus, you can think about it in lots of different ways. Um, you can think of it in terms of the power that the blood had to cleanse us. But you can also talk about it in the, the toughness that it takes to sit there and watch your own blood be spilled, knowing that you're, you're not going to recover from this. You can't. You have lost too much blood and still stay focused. I, I, I'm still, I know I'm saying the same thing, but it's just incredible. Let's bow in prayer. Father, what a, what a savior. 
what a Savior Jesus is. What a conqueror. So thankful, Father, that he was powerful and strong and was willing to use that on our behalf. We will praise Jesus forever. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. How great the chasm that lay between us. How high the mountain I could not climb. In desperation, I turned to heaven and spoke your name into the night. Then through the darkness, your loving kindness tore through the shadows of my soul. The work is finished, the end is written. Jesus Christ. Hey, thanks so much for joining us this morning and, and Thank you so much again for allowing us to come into your home um, to share God's message with you. And, and uh, we are so prayerfully happy that we can do that. And of course, like we say, it's always our prayer that somehow in some way you were touched by Alan's lesson or a song or a prayer. And um, if you have any questions or anything at all that, that, uh, that the elders or Alan can answer for you, please don't hesitate to call and we want to thank Alan again for just another wonderful lesson um, and the time that he prepares uh, for these lessons, both on the online and also on Sunday morning here, which we do meet here on Sunday mornings at 1030. And of course, now we have the Bible class starting at 930. So um, we would love to see you uh, on Sunday mornings. Now, don't forget also this um, this evening, our agape group start again and there are sign up sheets here. If you're not sure where one is, um, if you don't come to the building, please call the church building. Again, please call one of the elders or Alan, and we'll be glad to help you, uh, let you know where they, are, where they are. I do want to share this with you. Um, the elders were, were talking, and for those who have been fully vaccinated against COVID, based on the, the guidelines, um, the wearing of masks or face coverings are, are optional now at church um, because of, of what uh, the governor has, has stated. Um, if you have not uh, been vaccinated, please continue to wear the masks. Um, and it's, it's your option. If you have been va vaccinated, if you want to keep wearing the mask, please do so. Uh, because we want you to feel safe when, you, when you're here. Um, and if you can help, another announcement, if you can help serve, there's a sign-up sheet uh, for moving, for mowing, I'm sorry, mowing at both Joan Heinemann's and Bill and Pat Sipes' house. So if you can help mow, there's a sign-up sheet here. Please sign up for this summer and help them uh, uh, with, their, with their lawns. There's also another sign-up sheet for, um, to help Charles Lee um, to be able to be uh, driven to dialysis um, three times a week. And if you could sign up for that to help, please do. Um, also, today from 3 to 4, there is a reception um, for Emily Husby Davis May. Um, who was a member here for quite a while, and Gary May. So Emily May and Gary May, there's a reception here at the building from 3 to 4 today. Um, and if you can come and, and, and to share in, in their new marriage, I'm sure that, that would, uh, they would be very appreciative of that. Also, I'm sure you saw the email about Roger Sober. He was a member here for, for a good while. Um, he is recovering uh, from his run-in with a, a huge cow. Um, He's bruised up pretty good, uh, but uh, if you can't give him a call, send him a card. Um, he would very much appreciate the, um, the encouragement. Um, at this time, I'd like to lead us in a prayer. Um, and just remember those who are, are the shut-ins, ones who are still unable to get out. Please keep them in your prayers. And please continue to remember to pray for our elders, our deacons, our teachers, um, and our ministers here at Waynesboro. Um, and let's close in a prayer. Lord, thank you so much for, for loving us and for being there for us. And Lord, uh, we feel your peace and your love each and every day. And we thank you, Lord, for, for your arms wrapped around us, keeping us safe and making us feel secure, especially during this time of the COVID. Um, and we thank you, Lord, for being with, with the church family here and the church families uh, throughout the world. And um, we pray, Lord, that, that um, 
things can get back to normal um, much sooner than later. We're starting to make that trend, and we thank you, Lord, for allowing it to happen because, Lord, it wouldn't happen if it wasn't for you. And we thank you, Lord, for uh, uh, your love and your mercy and your grace. And we thank you, Lord, for your Son, who you sent to die upon the cross for us, that we have that opportunity to be with you eternity in heaven one day. Lord, we love you and we praise you. It's in Jesus' name. Amen. one is he calling me is 